Good morning, YouTube. It is 5.45 a.m. This is a muzzle loader in my hand. It snowed. The high is like eight degrees or something. I mean, it's gonna be freezing today, but my goal is to put some horns on the ground, give the uh, give the mule deer a, uh, a dirt nap, and hopefully have some fun and get a good video while doing it. Wow, it's like really cold. My face is like actually pretty much numb right now. And we got about an hour drive to where we're hunting, and then we basically have to walk a couple miles. We got spotting scope action right there. Let's do it. And uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting. Either I'm gonna be really cold, or I'm gonna be all right, and uh, hopefully hopefully hunt down a big old deer. So that's what we're doing today. Just want to give you guys a quick update. And uh, all right, let's go hunt. What is that right there? Uh, those are deer tracks. Uh, right now, we're hunting these bottom flats on these pivots where the deer come out of the hills to feed, especially. We got, we got fresh snow, they're getting kind of cold, they're hungry. Right now, we're gonna head up to a good spot we know. We're deep in the hills so we can catch them coming back in. We see you, buddy. I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> don't know what he's doing. Oh, peace. Well, we uh, made it to where we're hunting. Basically in the middle of freaking nowhere. You guys can't see a ton because we're kind of down a little bit, but I mean that's that's literally where we're at. We're we're basically in the middle of nowhere. We've got to go way over there to uh to the top to the top of a hill. That's where we're gonna be scouting. My hands are legit numb in like about five seconds. Well folks, I'm basically walking in the Arctic right now, nice and bundled up. We gotta walk. How far is it? Mile. So you gotta walk a mile to sit and scout. And then once you find one, then you gotta stalk it and crawl on the ground and lots of other fun things. So that's what you guys gotta look forward to is watching me freeze my ass off. Okay. Like butter, baby. We're going on top of that. That's our scouting hill. Scouting hill, dude. Yeah. That one. We just saw two doe whitetails, which is not necessarily what we're after, but if I get a big whitetail bucked in range, I'll definitely take a shot. So we're gonna move to another hill. That's a little bit higher up, a little bit better. And we're basically just gonna set up shop, take the spotting scope and put the binos out, and just kind of comb the area and try to find some deer that are bedding or walking around. No luck, eh? I uh, spotted a couple does. Nothing worth tracking. Uh, spotted one doe on a hill, which is kind of unusual. But I mean, I glassed around it pretty good. I spotted it at about eight miles. weren't able to find a deer in there with it, so I guess we're gonna pack out and try another area. Pack up all of our gear. Basically, uh, huff and puff my way two miles. At least we're going somewhat downhill, right? Yep. It's a little bit better. Actually, the the key to uh. Deer Can't hunting success. Deer gummy bears. Gummy bears. Rock hard gummy bears. Cold rock hard gummy bears. Welcome back to an episode of Man vs. Wild. I'm your host, Flare Grills. We are out here in the wilderness, basically getting hypothermia and dying of heart attacks. What are we doing? We're, we're going to scout with the truck, right? Yeah. We're going to drive We're gonna drive through the property on all the, the parts we're allowed to hunt and look around, take a peek, see what's around us. I mean, yeah, we're we're driving. Walking is uh, walking is not the the brightest idea. But all right, let's see if we can find a deer. We haven't seen a whole lot. We spent I think it's like two o'clock. We spent about three to three and a half hours driving, um, just like literally everywhere around the area, and did not spot a single deer. We don't know where they went. Our plan is to go to the top of that hill, and take a nap and uh, for like an hour, hour and a half, two hours, something like that. And basically, we're just gambling that there's like a field here and then there's hills. So you guys saw earlier we were in the hills. This is the field and there's hills over there. So we're hoping that they're hunkered down in the hills and then they got to eat at night and like in the evening. So they're gonna come down to the fields and eat and we are gonna be set up shop on the top of the hill, ready with the guns, pow, pow, gang, gang, bang, bang, let's go. So what you guys just saw there was a doe, and uh, Marty and I 
halfway st stocked up on it and just to, just enough to get a shot of it kind of hopping away from us. All right, so it is 3.15. Took about, Marty and I, took about a 30 minute nap. So now we are just chilling and well, what happened was, you guys saw my last hunting video where I was sleeping and I woke up and the two does were in front of me and I shot at the crossbow. Well, similar situation. Uh, I woke up and Hazi saw a buck like way down they're still coming way down yonder and uh, so we're kind of watching it and then we stand up and then look behind us and there's a buck there and then I was scanning with my bottom nose and saw another one over there and now they have the spotting scope and uh, there's a whole bunch up there and so we're we're filming it with a, uh, a phone scope basically connection deal and so we're just gonna either sit here or pick some up to go stock I'm not exactly sure what's going on but the good news is we are finding some deer They came over the hill, took off running, so now we're chasing them the other way. Well folks, it is the next day. All you missed was us basically chasing this herd of deer around, and I got, I got within about 200 yards, lined up for the shot, and uh, it kind of ducked behind this hill and I really just didn't get a good clean shot and I didn't want to wound the deer. So that's basically it. Then we walked like three miles back. We walked about eight miles yesterday. So legs are tired, but we are going hunting again this morning and uh, hopefully give some deer a dirt nap. Those are the two biggest deer I've seen yet. It is now one o'clock. I think last time I talked to the camera, it might've been like seven or 8 a.m. Basically, all that happened was we drove around for about three hours, found some does, went and climbed this hill, didn't see any bucks, drove around some more, saw some antelope, and then went back to the hotel, took about a 30 minute nap, got lunch, and then drove around for about the last 45 minutes. And we've seen a lot of does out in the fields, no bucks. So we're thinking that, they, uh, that they're finally moving into the field. So we are gonna go climb Mount Everest back there, wherever that is and uh, basically just look for bucks and uh, hopefully one of them uh, comes out to play tonight and uh, we can actually shoot a deer. So we're sitting here, there's a, there's a little buck in the doe. We, we stocked it all the way, probably like a mile. Turns out the buck was too small, so we're not gonna take a shot on him. We're gonna have to keep looking. Find him, find him, find him. Shoot him, shoot him, he's right there. Do two does went right in front of him. I know. I didn't want to risk it. I didn't film a whole lot, but Marty and I, we ran, like full on sprint, all of our gear, chased this entire herd of mule deer down, got them to what, 50 yards, 75 oh, dude, yards? 30. 30? 30, 30, 30 yards, they were right in front of us. There was a giant buck there, and uh, he, he didn't come, like when we scared them the first time, he stayed somewhere, and there was just a little buck, I don't know, maybe like a two, three pointer. I mean, I was just about to shoot him, um, because we spent all day, you know, hunting these bucks. We finally got them close and right as I was about to pull the trigger, two does walked right in front, and right as that happened, they took off running. So, I guess that's how it goes sometimes, but still, still a fun time. I'm so, I'm so out of shape, it's not even funny, but we're gonna head back to the, uh, the hotel and kick it and relax, and then we might get out for a few hours in the morning. It is Saturday morning. Negative what? Negative 24, baby! Negative 20, 24 degrees. Negative 24 degrees. Like, my hands are, are actually getting numb. By the second, we were actually going to leave tomorrow, or we were actually going to leave last night, and then a bunch of snow hit where we live, and so we could not get back uh, home, so we stayed in the hotel. And we're going to go scout for deer this morning. One last shot, Hail Mary, and uh, it's freezing. My hands are legit numb, negative 24, but there's a very small chance we will find that buck that we had last night. Shoot it, kill it, take it home. See all those does up there? Probably seen 30 does, no bucks though. We, we climbed all the way to the top. This is where we were yesterday when I had a shot at a small doe. But no bucks, so we're gonna, I think we're gonna head back to the truck. We might drive around some more and try to scout, see if we can find us a buck. Well guys, I am back home, finally getting the feeling back in my hands. That was an exciting time. 
I know it's a little disappointing I didn't actually kill anything. But here's kind of the, the deal. I know that the vlog was a little kind of sporadic. It was kind of spread out. And I was just really trying hard to get good content at the same time as it, you know, it being negative 24 degrees. I don't know if you guys understand like how cameras work, but like this camera that you're watching now dies in about two minutes in that type of weather. And so it was really tough for me to like vlog. It's like doing everything. I try to give you guys updates as uh, frequently as possible, but that's kind of the situation there. But I had a great time out there. It was super cool, but it was super fun crawling around, uh, hunting with Marty and Hazi, and uh, it was just overall good time. The thing is, I had plenty of opportunities to kill a deer, especially a doe. If I just wanted to shoot a doe, I could have had a doe in probably the first five minutes. Um, and I had my sights on a few decent bucks, uh, but nothing trophy sized. And that's really what I was going for. I know my last my last uh, deer hunting video, I just shot the first, basically the first doe that I kind of walked out um, as my first deer because I was only there for one day. But this time, I really wanted something that I could like put up on the wall and be proud of. And whether that's, I don't know if that's being selfish or not, uh, but you know, in reality, I just did not want to take a uh, an immature buck, the one that didn't have you know, a nice rack on them. So that was kind of the situation there. But I did have a lot of good shots uh, with the phone scope and just overall filming. So if you guys did enjoy these types of hunts, make sure you leave a thumbs up and drop a comment down below. Because if this video gets like a lot of likes and a lot of comments and stuff, then I'll make sure to go get. I've already talked with Marty about doing an elk hunting trip um, potentially next year. And uh, of course, going back next year for uh, mule deer. And hopefully maybe next year we'll do rifle. Uh, the thing is we're using a muzzle loader, and the deal with muzzle loaders, you can only shoot like 250, 300 yards. Um, which means you got to really get close to those deer and uh, especially if the winds blowing they smell you they hear you that type of stuff So it was kind of just a tough situation there But like I said if you did enjoy these make sure you leave a like let me know because I will go in make I'll, I'll make a whole bunch more I had a great time. It was a uh, it was a pretty pretty fun time out there And so that's basically it. I just wanted to, to kind of give you guys kind of a quick like ending segment um, I we, we tried hard. I mean we, we hunted for you know eight to ten hours for three days straight and it just didn't work out, but that's just how it goes sometimes. And there was a plenty of opportunities to shoot them, but I didn't, I didn't have a clean shot at a buck that I wanted. I had a lot of where I could stand up and shoot them, but I didn't want to, I didn't want to risk, you know, wounding the deer. I wanted to make sure I took an ethical shot and uh, that just, the opportunity just never came. So that's, that, that's basically the moral of the story. So that's basically it. I'm going to end the video here. Thank you so much for watching and peace.